This is Broad Blue's 346. She's actually only 33 feet long, but she carries a Category A Ocean Status Safety Certificate. And once you've been aboard, you actually get the feel of something that's much more like a 38 or even a 40 footer. There's good bridge deck clearance, and the hulls are narrow at the waterline, which means they're very efficient through the water. The full length chine runs all the way along the hulls, which means the interior space isn't compromised. And on the coach roof, you have these rather nice looking windows. They're made of glass, not acrylic, and they're actually flat. But the design of this coach roof gives it this lovely curved look and makes it look very, very stylish indeed. In addition, you have this lovely two-tone effect with the light grey top sides and the white hulls, adding to the quality feel. And at the transom here, a lovely big wide transom platform on one level. And it's exactly the right height. Look at this, perfect for getting on and off the shoreline. So you've got this cutaway section at the back so you can just get on very easily, straightforward. And also, very easy to bring the dinghy up to so you can get on and off the dinghy very easily without having to either step down or step up. Absolutely perfect. And then when you turn towards the cockpit, you've got this lovely wide entrance. And just underneath the floor here is a wonderful feature of the boat, which is a great storage area. Easily accessed, very simple. And plenty of room here. Look at that, for all your bits and pieces. And then you get into the cockpit just very easily up two shallow little steps and then right ahead of you you have your sail control unit. All your clutches, all your ropes come down to this point here. The two winches are set at an angle so they're easier to use however tall you are. And on this boat the left hand one which does the main halyard is electric and there's your electric winch control, right at the helm station, so literally an arm's length away. So this makes raising the mainsail a nice and easy task for the helmsman, sailing short-handed or indeed single-handed. And there's plenty of space too, it's all on one level so it's easy to move around the boat and the crew and helmsman are interconnected. So no being stuck away in a cockpit down below, not knowing what's going on. And one of the interesting features on this boat are the raised transom seats. It means the crew can sit up on top, look over the top of the coach roof and see where you're going. And then look at this, plenty of visibility round to the back of the boat. Perfect. When you come out of the saloon you just go up these two little steps just there and you're straight into the cockpit. That table you can sit easily six people round. Let's just have another look round just for fun. This will give you another 360. Your sail control unit, the helm station on the port side. Plenty of visibility out of the back of the boat. And there's your entrance to the transom. Then as you move forward down a decent width side deck with a nice handhold, you come to one of the main features of the boat. This is the solid foredeck. It brings rigidity and strength to the structure of the boat. It's very easy to move around and it's open, crisp and clean. Then you have the moulded bowsprit. And this is a nice strong structure for the Genoa furlers. And there are no extra supporting wires underneath. So no danger of getting tangled up when you're raising and lowering the anchor. The solid foredeck gives you a nice storage area as well. The window there, central opening hatch, is great for ventilation. The coach roof is nice and smooth, there's no need to be walking around up there. And on this boat you have a self-tacking jib, all controlled from the cockpit, with the track running across in front of the mast, but really makes tacking this boat very, very simple indeed. Now I've moved inside, and this really is very impressive. It's difficult to remember that you're actually only on a 33-foot catamaran. When you just look around here and look at the space that you've got, 
it really does give you a feeling that you're probably on something like a 38 or even a 40 footer. But it's not only the space that you feel here, you also have this wonderful feeling of, of light and it's really enhanced by this beautiful skylight which really floods this whole area with a beautiful natural light. And then you've got a lovely U-shaped galley here, the forward facing chart table with all your electronics and a wonderful dining area and very comfortable sofas. The galley itself is large and has plenty of worktop space. You've got a one and a half sink, three burner stove and you have a separate oven and grill. And on this boat he's uh, got himself a microwave and a toaster on board as well. You've got the forward facing chart table with plenty of visibility out. And then the main dining table is situated to port with a lovely inlaid chessboard. But the thing you really notice is the quality here. It's solid wood and it's really beautiful finish. Talk of finishing, look at this chart table here. Beautiful finish, wood, but also proper depth to it. So you can actually get items into the chart table. It actually is a proper storage area. Not always the case on many other boats that I've been on. Going down into the starboard hull, we look forward and we have a separate shower, a sink on the inner hull and the head. This is the owner's side. Plenty of space, very light, very crisp. Now we're into the aft starboard cabin. This is the main suite, storage on both sides. The seat doubles as a step up to the bed. And this is a standard king size bed, so there's plenty of room. And you get nice light from the hatch at the back. Very nice, very comfortable. And over on the port side as well, the guest suite is also a king size bed. Again, with a step up using the sofa. And I wouldn't normally put myself on a video, but in order to demonstrate just how much headroom you've got here, have a look at this. But just look at the height over my head here. I'm six foot tall and there's all this space above. So plenty of headroom in this cabin. One very nice feature here is this forward cabin. This is a single. Plenty of space, plenty of light. Mirror, sink, and interestingly, you see that just there under here. If I do this, you've got your own head. Show you how that works. So, nice second head in the boat. And so even if you're not actually using this rather nice forward cabin, if you've got guests in the aft cabin, they have their own head and the whole of the port hull. And so that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the look around the Broad Blue 346. We would like to thank very much the owners of Pompey Lass. And we do hope you've enjoyed. Thank you.